Um, well, I always liked to join the Youth Cups since I made a lot of friends from all over the world and it was really interesting for me being such a young girl. And we always had a good team of Austrians climbing or traveling to, to those events. So it was always fun also to travel along with the team. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. In 2006, it was Grindelwald, which of course we've seen on the tour again this year that uh, gave you your first gold. And you know, th that must have been a fantastic, because you were still so young as well back then, and, you know, and, and, and to be so young to take a gold. You know, did, did you realize that uh, you know, th this is the start of something big? Um, well, I was 18 at the time, and for me it was overwhelming. I've been climbing at the circuit for a little bit. I mean, I joined the first uh, international event in 2004 when I was 16 years old. Um, actually, I wasn't allowed to join the lead team of Austrians, so they decided I'm the youngest, I should go bouldering instead. And that's how I entered the European Championship in bouldering and I took silver. So, yeah, it was just overwhelming and like I didn't really know what was going on. I just remember from that comp in Lecco, I always like I couldn't stop smiling. Yeah. That's incredible. I never knew that. So you actually wanted to lead climb and you couldn't get into the team. They wouldn't let you compete. So you did bouldering instead. Yes, exactly. When I was young, there were no bouldering comps for youth. So we always did lead. And uh, also for LECO, I wanted to do lead initially, but the Federation decided since I was the youngest, I should do bouldering because I have a lot of time to do lead. That's amazing. I am truly shocked. If there's one thing from this interview I've learned, I just never realised that happened. And, and back then you had people like Sabine and Barbara Backer who were in the Austrian squad and they finished in fifth and sixth in that particular competition. So that just goes to show what you said, that there was a real team spirit in the Austrians. Yes, exactly. I think the team spirit um, always helped me along a lot because when I see Alex, for example, who always have to go to, has to go to the comps by herself, um, I think that's admiring because I'm not sure if I would be able to do that. I mean, we always have a lot of people on the team. We have a coach, we have a physio now. I mean, it has been different when I was still younger. We didn't have anything like that either. We also went to China on our own, but now it's, um, yeah, we made a lot of steps in our Austrian Federation and it helped me a lot. That's one thing that's been really noticeable, that you, you guys are so professional and looking after your bodies in between events. And obviously you have fun as well. I saw you with your skateboard earlier, but, uh, you know, that, that is one big difference, isn't it? That now things are much more professionally run behind the scenes. Yes, definitely. I mean, when I started off, as I said, we went to China on our own. We didn't have a coach, we didn't have a physio. And, um, yeah, we also needed time to progress. And uh, since, for example, Killian um, was the first one, first Austrian to take gold and to um, achieve uh, good results. And then Angie came and I did. And yeah, so it all came together, but it took some time. And now we are definitely at a very professional level, I would say.